Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Schwab. Are you pumped, Phelan? Yep, this was the best episode ever. Best episode ever! <laughs> Skinny Mergs! Skinny Mergs! We watched Season 2, Episode 7, Past is Present. And boy, a lot of stuff happened, huh? Yeah, they gave us some stuff in this one, which most a lot of it kind of seemed like, oh, we're, we're not doing what we were going to do. Let's just yeah. sweep this away and change directions a bit. Gosh, I don't know if they thought that these were supposed to be twists or if this is another reset or what they were doing. Um, It's like they were trying to make up for the first six episodes and then just cram a bunch of stuff into it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not the lucky idiot you're after. And who is? You won't believe me. Actually, she wouldn't. What are you talking about? It's not me you want. It's him. Parker. Uh, so in this episode, we have some returns, a return of a familiar old face... Uh, the, the demons and Abigail and, uh, they're trying to find out about Jordan's past. Uh, blee, 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 blee. <laughs> hey, that was a funky, fresh song they started with at the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. Inject some life into this show. <laughs> <laughs> Wish they had more fun these days. It kind of seemed like a sitcom opening at first. Like, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were briefly we were going to get like um a comedy episode or something. I'm like, "Oh, okay, change it up because it's been so serious and kind of boring lately." And the, no, well, it wasn't really. We had some comedy in there. At least it was funny to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let me just say this is the best episode of season 2, but that's kind of damning it with faint praise, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, once again, everyone's, uh, every sister is in a different plot this time. They are all separate doing different things. Yeah, at one point, it's like Harry and Macy are like, we should come with you on your plot, Maggie. She's like, no, you guys shouldn't. You stay here. No. <laughs> it's yeah. like, of course, because they have to be separate. <laughs> Utter refusal to have the sisters do things together. <laughs> I've split it up by sister. Um, the first and least interesting is Mel's plot. Yeah, that's the most nothing of this episode by far. <laughs> um, it seems like they were just they were just writing out Kat's character there rather than like actually doing a development with the story. Mm -hmm. We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Uh, maybe they'll bring her back in later. Maybe they're planning on doing something. But for now, it just kind of seemed like people didn't like her or Jordan and they realized that. Yeah, like, I mean, they left the door open for Kat to return, but it's also quite possible she won't. <laughs> so, uh, Mel discovers that Kat's shop is closed, uh, and uh, she asks about it. She finds Swan, who is uh, trying to shill some vegan breakfast taquitos. Mm-hmm. Insufferable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just... They have to do all these things with her. Like, they're just obnoxiously done <laughs> yeah she just seems like a parody of a person yeah it's not even the fact like that she wants vegan breakfast burritos but it's the fact she's like just shilling them at people randomly it just it's just so stupid <laughs> it's because the way that they do it it's not because it's vegan taquitos i'm sure they're those are fine but it's it's because the way that they present it is like that's supposed to be the joke yeah but it's not like, it's not funny. It's just like, so what is the punchline here? <laughs> yeah, that swan's a twit. <laughs> Apparently. Um. So she tells Mel the latest goss, that's short for gossip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she says, yeah, tr uh, rumor is that Kat's not coming back. And so uh, Mel heads up back up to the shop and she finds uh, Kat's mom packing up for her. And she's like, I'll take that. Yeah, there's just like <laughs> uh, some wreath or something. And her mom gives it to her, too. It's like, what? So someone just comes in. You're packing up your daughter's store. And someone just goes, yeah, I'll take that. And you give it to them. Right. <laughs> like, do you even know how much that was supposed to sell for? Do you, do you believe this woman that she's even friends with your daughter? No, they're not okay, even They're not go. even that close at this point. They're no. just people that... that see each other in the same building frequently and maybe something might happen but yeah. they haven't even kissed in reality at this point this cat closing up her shop too like felt pretty rushed like 
she had some visions of worms and then said, that's it. I'm packing up my business. <laughs> like, I feel like. Well, I think it was supposed to be building. Like, you know, like yeah. she saw the worms and then she was like, she was hearing their mom's ghost or whatever. Absolutely. But that was yeah. the last thing we got was her texting them off screen that her mom contacted them. Yeah. You know, uh, when the moment that they discover that their mom's ghost is, is hanging around and talking to Kat. Um, that's the ending of that. It's just like, yeah, that was my mom's ghost. Anyway, do you not want to fucking talk to your mom's ghost? <laughs> do you not want to see your mom's ghost? Wasn't this the whole We've first season? We've had enough of their mom. I don't want to hear her. I'm not saying I want it. I'm just saying character-wise, why, why isn't she more curious about this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I also just feel like we should have had some kind of like crescendo with Kat's insanity on screen rather than just... Yeah, I really freaked out after I sent you that text, but we didn't see any of that, so it just kind of seems odd. Yeah, I, they didn't develop her character very much. Like, they were starting to do something with her here, but that was writing her out, so... Yeah, this is the first episode I think they did that much with her, besides, you know, maybe the one where they meditate together. Yeah, like, I, she just... I've gotten nothing from this character mm -hmm. up until this point, and then you kind of get something... And yeah. then she's gone, so... Eh? Yeah, you, you finally feel like you're doing something is when you're getting rid of them. Like, it's not a good way to do anything with characters. Feel like you're beating around the bush with them until you exit them. <laughs> yeah, like, wouldn't it be great if we had a show about these characters and not all of the in-between scraps that you would cut from a better <laughs> show? <laughs> yeah, just the, hey, I'm gonna go in the shop and have a few awkward smiles and can I have a potion or something? Yeah. I'm in need of a guilt remover spell. So, uh, so she explains to uh, Mel that she has had stress-induced hallucinations her whole life. Her whole and life. So... But worms, that was the topper. She's like, I've had all these like really crazy bad hallucinations, but then I saw some worms like, I'm done with my business. Well, okay. We don't know what these hallucinations are other than ghosts. Because they reveal that she's a medium. And so the stuff with the worms, maybe she hadn't seen stuff like that before. Because that wasn't because she was a medium. That was, well, maybe she was seeing it from Mel or something. But clearly that was weirder shit than normal. Yeah, maybe. So she must have thought that she was losing it. I know. It just didn't feel like much. And we're, <laughs> all we were shown was her like, oh, worms. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do it. They didn't do a great job showing her going to the breaking point. Yeah. She's like, Mel, have you seen anything with worms? No. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, she went like she went from that to like I am not well. I have to go to the hospital and leave and shut down my life. I need to be in a padded cell forever. <laughs> Mel realizes that this is something magical. So um she's like, "Hey, you're not <laughs> Oh, just that wording it's like i'm going crazy mel realizes this is something magical <laughs> yes this is magical it's a beautiful moment um worms everywhere uh you know involving magic mm -hmm. not i believe in magic yeah. in girl's heart. <laughs> or do you believe whatever um <laughs> so <laughs> So she knows that this is not like hallucinations. This is something that has to do with the supernatural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so um, she's like, well, come with me if you want if to you live. you want to live, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she blindfolds her and takes her to her house. So, <laughs> so she's like, you're not crazy. Let me blindfold you and take you somewhere. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> yeah, the, the audacity of Mel to go, trust me. Anyway, I don't trust you. I'm going to blindfold you to go to my house. <laughs> like, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't trust her enough to like tell her any shit that's going down. Yeah. Just takes her there. And she doesn't actually need to take her to her house to tell her any of this stuff that she but says she when needs she takes to show her there. the mom video apparently. She could bring that anywhere else. She could put it on her phone and like yeah. there's no, any other thing that could have done. She has to done. go to her house to see the mama soul video. <laughs> <laughs> just just trust me anyway i don't yeah, you trust know what? you <laughs> the fact that she says that she has hallucinations too how does she know that this is just audio she could have showed her a picture of her mom like hey did you see this did you yeah. see this lady she looked familiar to you mm -hmm. i just thought it was weird too like at any point does she say yeah like my mom's name was marisol 
Why did you say that name? Yeah, she could have said that, but she um she shows her these home movies and she recognizes her mom's voice and so she's like, "Hey, you're not crazy, you're a medium." Um but she doesn't say that she, that they're witches, she just says that they're believers. <laughs> and uh they're true believers. <laughs> Do they believe in magic? Yeah. In the worms in your hair. <laughs> Um, they kiss in the weird cloaked backyard that they still have with all these like yeah. lights and twinkle lights. It's like and... so the house is invisible from the front, but not the back when they're out in the fake backyard world. The empty yeah. lot. I just I don't understand that. Mel decides she doesn't really want to get romantic again after what happened to Nico because uh, all of her relationships kind of go to shit. So uh, so she backs off from the kiss. And uh, anyway, Kat's still leaving. <laughs> She's yeah. got to figure out what's going on with her life. The lawsuit's still on. Yeah, the lawsuit's still on. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Here's the keys to my shop. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew that was coming the way they're saying it. It's like, here, you take the shop now. <laughs> <sighs> Dumb. And then she says, to what could have been... <laughs> wow, real if star cross lovers. A <laughs> rewrite what could have been. <laughs> to, to witches and houses alike and fair Vera house. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't quote Shakespeare. <laughs> Romeo, all pale. Who else? What? Paris, too. And steeped in blood. Uh. What a romance that was. Anyway, that's the end of that plot. <laughs> Mel's now um, running a shop she never wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, will you take on my business for me? Uh, I don't fucking think so. <laughs> you take care of your own shit. <laughs> Is there not, like, some paperwork or something that should be done about that, too? Like, mm -hmm. Mel's just gonna come in there and the rest of them that run safe space are just be Oh yeah, she says she runs that shop now, so okay. I mean, she she could give her the paperwork or something. There's probably, I mean, I guess. Well, as long as the rent's being paid, she'll fax it. <laughs> she'll fax it to her via worm. She'll have like a a carrier worm come. It just inches its way with a little letter. <laughs> magic fax. Mel's like. Ugh. Can't you use magic email? Get in the century, cat. <laughs> <laughs> she sends the email, and then we follow the email via CGI yeah. as it sends to a screen <laughs> and opens up a CGI letter. Yeah. <laughs> but it ends up on the desk of Ask Phoebe. <laughs> the she demon then, overlord. <laughs> and then she grabs it from the screen and crushes it. <laughs> I'll get the those most... other charmed wangs. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretties, and your little dogs, too. <laughs> da -da 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 Maybe that shot of her from that last charmed rewind we did with her on the broom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm going to be a very good witch from now on. All right, so uh, Maggie Margarita is boxing with Jordan. Um, I don't think we mentioned they revealed that, that Maggie's first name is Margarita. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. a skinny Marg. <laughs> so Marisol's just drinking a lot, I guess, around when she had <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> like, hmm. She was drinking Margarita. a lot while pregnant. And, and then yeah. she got pregnant that night. Last thing she remembered was saying Margarita. <laughs> And then when she was uh, pregnant with Macy, she was watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And she's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like Macy's glug, glug, glug. <laughs> she drinks some more. And she's listening to Spice Girls when she had Mel. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> she will be Mel V. <laughs> Mel V. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so they're boxing. And um, Jordan's like, hey, so so what was up with you trying on my ring and running away? And she goes, ha, ah, commitment spooks me. <laughs> <I'm> like, what? <laughs> Is this just a joke? You know, he's got a fucking girlfriend, but he seems to like play this off like, eh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turns his back and she runs away again. Really cool. <laughs> Cut to uh, Harry and this Maisie. This is her running away from that plot line with him. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we're writing this out real yeah. quick. <laughs> Abandoned plot. Bay. <laughs> Bay. 
Cut to Harry and Macy. Uh, Macy is asking if Dark Harry's really gone. Um, and she seems kind of disappointed that he's gone. Yeah. Because uh, as he implied in the last episode, she kind of likes him better than normal Harry. Yeah, he brings it up <laughs> I don't in this know why. one, too. He's like, yeah. you liked him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he's jealous of himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know why, though. I guess they're going with the, you know, like, forbidden fruit, her demon side is kind of attracted to him. But I don't know if they really showed any moments where they were actually, like, connecting when she wasn't trying to, like, fool him. Yeah, I mean, I think... Maybe when she found out his backstory and she kind of felt for him? Yeah, when he is appearing to her sometimes, too, before that. But, yeah, is mostly like, yeah, I guess it's just that kind of, like, oh, Harry, but his dark side. Yeah. <laughs> the darkness is enticing to mm. her. Something like that. But they're interrupted when Maggie shows up. Um, She ran off because she has stolen Jordan's sweat. <laughs> 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 well, what do you know? It's not every day you see the stupidest thing you've ever seen. That's a sentence I said. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Maggie's greatest victory. <laughs> I did it! it. I got the... sweat! <laughs> Sometimes you can sweat the smile staff. <laughs> you know this is reminding me of? Um, that episode of Baywatch, uh, Lifeguards Can't Jump, <laughs> where, um, where uh, Garner and Mitch uh, are undercover doing basketball to try and like s like scoop out a murderer or whatever, mm -hmm. and um, they have to do like a, a DNA test to see if his blood matches uh, stuff at the crime scene. So their plan is to play basketball with him and then knock him over as many times as they can until he like scrapes his knee, yeah. and then they can steal the towel and do a blood test all within the span of a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> This was like that. <laughs> That's exactly one to one. This is exactly like that. She's got to make him sweat and then play basketball. And <laughs> yeah. Maggie's like, you know, I wasn't that great at basketball, but I could shoot. <laughs> That's how I got through college. Because you were a pretty good basketball player, but not as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're going to test the sweat. To see if he's a threat after that vision that Maggie had. Uh, this is reminding me. What happened to Macy's evil sight? If it is to see if he's a threat on the court. <laughs> on the court. <laughs> the test came back. He's bad at basketball. <laughs> that um that that like piece of uh, press information about the season said that he was a lawyer, even though he wasn't. Maybe he's a threat in court. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what happened to Macy's evil sight? Can she not use it anymore? Like, that would have been very helpful to, like, see visions of evil things and, like, scoop out yeah, Jordan What's-His-Nuts. Yeah, it just seems she forgot that, or... I don't know. Because that was part of her demon power, so she should still have that. She had to keep sticking a needle in her head. But, like, it's not acknowledged at is all. Like, I know that they want to limit what demonic stuff she does, but right. clearly she's she's still using fireballs and stuff, so it seems like she's not that worried about yeah, it Yeah, right she's now. still tapping into her demon powers, so they should at least have a line about why they can't do that if they're not going to. So, uh, they, they mix up the sweat with a potion. <laughs> A sweat potion. Mm -hmm. And uh, it puffs in the air and gives them a bunch of symbols to show that this episode was uh, Dove Association approved. <laughs> <laughs> it shows that Jordan is cursed with the dying breath of a witch. And Maggie's like, oh, I, I knew I shouldn't have had that last skinny mark. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what the connection was here. Mostly because I wasn't paying attention to this part. Um, for some reason, they got to go to the sacred grove. That This relates to this in some way there's a sacred grove where a bunch of dryads live and there's some like magical fruit the mm. the more you eat the more you toot yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> cuz we're 5 years old yeah but it's magic toots which like blow up the forest well when when they break wind they they can transport we've seen this in this uh show in season 1 so right. <laughs> <laughs> Very um, helpful power to have. <laughs> uh, the dryads are these peaceful creatures that live in harmony with nature. Not uh, anymore. There, not anymore. Now they rest in peace with nature. Take that, <laughs> dryads. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. <laughs> That's what you get. Enjoy your fruit, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they find them dead because once again, the day you save. <laughs> and they threw him to the ground. <laughs> they 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 have a worse track record than the original Charmed Ones. You know that, right? Uh, they're not because it too took well. them a few seasons before like everyone was dying all the time. But <laughs> man, they are saving no one in the show. <laughs> there was one witch they saved, wasn't there? There was one witch, that's true. I was expecting her to keel over, and she didn't. Yeah. So, uh, plus um, one. <laughs> yeah, add that to the tally. Yeah. How many that, dryads like, are dead? Four or something, yeah. Mi- and then minus, like, however many dryads. Yeah, but that wasn't even like, they just came in and healed her after the fact. It's not like they came and rescued yeah, her or anything. Yeah, they didn't actually do anything. Though, in case to be fair to them, the stupid boar didn't light up until after all the dryads were dead, I guess. Yeah, yeah, really dropping the ball with the elders' little magic Dora map, huh? Yeah, could probably give us the warning, like, before they're dead, idiots. (laughs) Yeah, they find the sacred tree uh, with the fruit dead, because all the white lighters that were supposed to protect it are also dead. I don't know what the dryads were doing. I guess the white lighters were just protecting the dryads and the tree. <laughs> Anyone who finds the who still steals this fruit will be unstoppable. I guess the fruit gives them powers or something. Yeah, this is the one like joint Macy and Maggie part of the episode. I find it kind of funny though. It's like Harry, um, Macy, and Maggie all go on this, but there's never a word said about should we get Mel. <laughs> No, Mel is off in Mel World. Yeah. She's she's taken on Maggie's mantle of useless romantic subplot no one cares about. Yeah. It's like, eh, she's doing her own plot, so let's just leave her. Bye. <laughs> it's fine. They find that witch there. She's a telepath. Uh, that's why she was there. She heard the dryads were in trouble, came in, and she got fucked up. So Harry heals her. So she was better than the stupid board. Yeah. Stupid she- elders. <laughs> Yeah, they need, you know, I mean, Maggie's got some kind of telepathic abilities. Empathic, yeah, but I she guess, has to, like, but... rub up on a ring, stupid Maggie. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> um, they suspect that Abigail is probably involved with this. Um, so they take off to go find her, and Abigail is in a lesbian threesome. <laughs> yeah. I love that it was just, like, that easy. Like, they go, let's go find Abigail. Poof, there she is. Like, I thought mm-hmm. when she ran away at the end of that other episode, it's like, oh, we don't know where she is now. Not just, hey, where's Abigail? I don't know. Let's just teleport to her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they know where she is automatically, even though she ran off and, like, they could just find her any old time. Mm hmm. All right. It's like, if they were trying uh, to keep her imprisoned in their little bunker or whatever, I mean, why did they let her loose? <laughs> Well, she just ran off. I know, but if they knew where she was, why didn't they just go get her and put her back in jail? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) It would seem kind of fucked up if our heroes just kept finding her to keep her in prison, though. (laughs) Oh, I mean, she's off killing. They don't seem very concerned, though, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, like, they think she's gonna kill things, so maybe you gotta do something. (laughs) Yeah. I was bringing this up last episode, and it wasn't as much that, but now it's getting into that territory. Abigail is the smuggy smug, one step ahead yeah. evil character. Oh, they definitely um, did that in this episode with her. Yeah. Smuggy smug, turning into Crowley on Supernatural. I can't fucking stand this character archetype. Yeah, and the flimsy, <laughs> like, don't- But try! Yeah, and like the same flimsy, don't kill them- Crap. Yeah, like they have no reason to trust them, but they keep trusting them, and then they yeah. keep betraying them, and then we keep the cycle going for fifteen fucking years. Yeah. Oh, I betrayed you. Oh, we can't kill Crowley though, because he's such a nice guy. <laughs> Let's go mope in the bunker. <laughs> I um, I hate Abigail. I hate Abigail. I don't like her. Abigail, <laughs> she's so cool though. <laughs> She's not cool. Um, the only time I find any enjoyment is when they give her terrible dialogue. That's mm-hmm. the only thing I get from her. Otherwise, her character is is uh, annoying mm-hmm. and not in a in a purposeful villain way. There, I can enjoy a villain. I don't enjoy this villain. Yeah, just annoying. She's really yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I guess we confirmed that her Kane backstory is true now. Yes. Yeah, it seems like it is true, which is really lame. Yeah. Because uh, that was okay. the only thing, I guess, that 
like kept her character open to something like is there going to be some kind of twist she's lying here and then it's like no that was really it and you're like, eh, okay. yeah <laughs> i i'm i'm not entirely convinced this is what the intended story was yeah. i would be surprised if there was some other idea and they're doing some hasty rewrites this episode because a lot of it seems like it mm-hmm. if it's not meant to be hasty rewrites it's not good writing because it comes off like hasty rewrites <laughs> much like season one did yeah. So uh, Abigail doesn't know uh, about this tree, so she says. Um, Macy's like, I'm starting to wonder if we need you at all. Do they? No. Why do they need her? They don't need her for anything. No, nah, she's not very helpful. She seems to have forgotten um, that bit where uh, Abigail had an apple for no reason and said she was 100% delicious. Maybe that was one of the apples from the tree. We don't know where she got it because it seemingly was out of nowhere, so maybe... Yeah, they should at least be have that thought in their head. I mean, we know it's not by later in this episode, but it could have been. <laughs> um, so she's like, "Well, it wasn't me, but how about this? Get a load of this." <laughs> That's she, how it uh... could have gone, but how about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this episode does a quick turnaround. A quick turnaround. She's she shows them a vision in a mirror of a bunch of demons chanting, and Parker Guitar is back. Yeah, he's Yay! the demon overlord now. The demon overlord Guess Parker he took Guitar. Over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's so sad that we were so excited that Parker Guitar I was know. back. I was like, they were saying Kane. I'm like, holy crap! It's gonna be Parker. And he turns around, he's like, yes. <laughs> Parker, Parker, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> but he said on his Insta that he wasn't going to this demon mansion! Yeah, I, I like, <laughs> Did you miss all his updates about this crap there, Maggie? What? What, so this implies that he is the demon overlord, but he has still been updating his Instagram this entire exactly. time. He's still has like this been playing like, Call of Duty and uh, whoa, beat this last level in Call of Duty <laughs> and Maggie. Oh yeah, <laughs> PS Demon Overlord. What? <laughs> so here, I, this begs the question. <laughs> Has he been updating Instagram about his demon overlord life and she just hasn't noticed? Yeah. Or has he come up with a fake life that he's been <laughs> updating on his Instagram to keep up the his his influencer persona? <laughs> he's just omitting certain parts. <laughs> he's like he's doing all these like close-ups in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, cropping out his demon artifacts or whatever around him. Still just love imagining that he wasn't hiding it really at all. Just, like, hashtag demon life. And, like, Maggie, oh, that's he's cute. Like, <laughs> he's posing with a severed head and, like, peace, yeah. <laughs> See, when he, when he says hashtag peace, he just means peace like he's trying to bring peace yeah. to the demons. Rest that's in why. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> this, um... We're going to have some fun with this Parker backstory. <laughs> we needed something. We needed this. Oh, Parker we're gonna was, have some was fun. Oh, we going to have some fun. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this could be as good as NCIS New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we needed some life injected into this. Parker guitar answered our prayers. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Speaking words of wisdom. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> These demons don't realize what a big Instagram star I am. <laughs> can't just give that up. <laughs> just because I'm the demon overlord doesn't mean I can't update my Instagram. Oh, idiots. <laughs> Parker Guitar Instagram Superstar. <laughs> And that will be our title. <laughs> so now Parker is the demon overlord. Mm -hmm. I guess while Abigail was hanging out with the girls, um, they're like, we'll just get another Cain child in here. We'll just bring someone else in here. Yeah. She's not doing what she's supposed to. She lost so were, the gig were... while she was in charmed jail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The demons were getting really impatient. And uh, as Abigail says, enter my idiot brother. <laughs> They're cane, any cane will do. <laughs> the demons don't really want peace, right? They just need a village idiot to yeah. put up in charge. 
<laughs> this is a real uh, Blazing Saddles scenario. They just need to, <laughs> if you can convince the town to have a demon sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> so Harry, uh, what, why, what the fuck did I even write here? I just put Harry doubts. What does he even doubt? I don't know what I wrote. <laughs> he doubts. Harry doubts. Harry doubts. He goes, I doubt it. <laughs> and they're like, all right. <laughs> then they star wipe to the next scene. <laughs> He crossed his arms. I doubt it. No, no. He crossed his arms and he goes, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, I think I wrote that because like, he doesn't think that Abigail was really the demon overlord or something. Um, she, he thinks that she's like, she's making a bunch of shit up because like, if she was the demon overlord, why would she be hanging out with, um, a couple of lazy Susans? Lazy Susans. That's what, that's what he calls her bedroom companions. Lazy and Susans. Like, Boom, roasted. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> So Maggie is like, I gotta find Parker. I gotta bring him the skinny marks. <laughs> <laughs> and figure out what's going on. Um, prove that he's not evil. So she's gonna bring Abigail and her paisley suit along. <laughs> That's the only thing I liked about Abigail in this episode was her paisley suit. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna give him a truth serum. And before they go, Abigail invites Harry to a foursome. And then she's like, peace out. <laughs> He's like, what was that all about? <laughs> huh? yeah, uh, I wasn't interested. <laughs> but if you're into it, Macy, maybe we could try it. What do you think? <laughs> what are they doing with Harry this season? What are they even doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why the hell did you do that? I saw a clip the other day of Harry and the pilot, and I'm like, what the fuck? This isn't even the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing one of his stupid old man sweaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back when he was just discount Giles. Yeah, well now he's a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. I'm a rogue demon hunter. <laughs> he's still one of the best characters on the show. <laughs> I know, I know. This is character development, that's what it is. Mm. <clears throat> so Macy uh joins Boxer Boys Club <laughs> to uh to try and sniff out some clues. Yeah, this um, was different. Gonna... It's like, oh, Macy with stupid Boxer Boy. Have they ever interacted prior to this? <laughs> There's that one where you no know, Maggie's trying to rub up on the ring. I don't know if she said anything to him during that. W was she just she was just watching the karaoke? Right? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's all it was. I can't remember maybe if there's any like, like talking in between that, but I don't, I don't know if there was. <laughs> before before they trapped him and her in the elevator, maybe Macy was there yeah. when the group was there. Maybe. I mean, if they've had said anything, it was very brief. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> it's really sad that we can't remember. <laughs> so, um, he they they t they take this moment to do a really bizarre comedy cutaway. Mm -hmm. Like he's like, "Oh, you fought before, haven't you?" And he's like, "Oh, a little bit," and then like a a just a quick like smash cut to just like a, a montage of her fighting evil things and using her powers yeah <laughs> and sepia tone uh -huh. this was strange yeah, that was odd <laughs> uh she's trying to distract him while harry steals his ring and swaps it with a fake with a fake <laughs> <laughs> So while Harry's sneaking around in the background, uh, Jordan almost notices. So Macy takes a cheap shot and uh, punches him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then things get even weirder. Yeah. Like, he takes off his gloves and he like, he goes up like he's going to punch her. Yeah. Bare fisted. He goes like psycho. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hey, don't pick a fight with someone above your weight class. Mm -hmm. Like. This was so weird, and it didn't feel like a oh maybe there is something dark with with Jordan. It just I don't know what what that was. No, it just seemed like he's in like he wants to kill her. <laughs> like I don't get it. And like he stays in that mode for the whole rest of the scene. Like Harry and Macy leave, and he's still staring with stink face and grabs his <laughs> ring. He's like, <"Ugh>, my <laughs> precious. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, 
they are trying to hint that like you know there's something dark there whether it's like a misdirect or they're trying to say like he actually is as like evil as he seems to be but he's letting down the facade it doesn't come off that way it just came off it, it came off weird and uncomfortable that he was like about ready to just punch her yeah, you know, clearly you shouldn't be running this little gym where you do sparring matches with people all the time if you react this poorly to getting, like, a a, ro- a stray punch like this, because I imagine when you do this type of stuff, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like yeah, she clock-cocked him. <laughs> it's not like she clocked him really hard or anything. It's just, like, one little jab. Punched him in the cock. Yeah, <laughs> cocked him. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Harry leaves a fake ring behind in the, in the bag to, uh, not arouse suspicions. They both take off with the real one. Macy puts it on as a test, but it does nothing with her witch powers. So this is something specific to, uh, to Maggie. So they're like, well, what if we rip out the essence of the ring to figure out what went on? And then Harry is like, just like me. (laughs) He turns super emo. In this scene, it was such a stretch just to get him to start talking about Dark Harry stuff again. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He turns into, like, Jughead in Riverdale. (laughs) Yeah. It still still seems like, you know, Harry and Macy, they're the two competent ones doing anything that seems to be really trying to aid their overall plot. I mean, Maggie does a little bit in this episode, but she still seems like a lost sheep while she's doing anything. (laughs) yeah well the stuff with macy and harry it's it's not that they're talking about the dark harry stuff because this is good character stuff Mm -hmm. i do want them to acknowledge this it's better than just sweeping something under the rug i just wish it felt more organic um because everything seems very separate like this is going to be a harry macy dark harry scene this is going to be a maggie and so and so scene this is going to be like you know exactly what you're in for the moment it starts yeah and the way that this dialogue was was so clunky to be like let's rip out the essence of this ring just like me yeah. and then they start talking about it and uh and macy's like oh well you know i i liked him because he was a piece of you and uh he's like that's all i am now pieces <laughs> it'd been better if he had said that that's all i am now a marshmallow <laughs> <laughs> it would have been better if they had acknowledged it like he goes, just like me, and Macy's like, oh, that was a clunky transition. <laughs> He's like, I know, I just you wanted to talk. You got something you want to talk about, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, I just wanted to talk about Dark Harry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> kind of like him, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do like this this bit we talked about a little bit earlier that, like, He's jealous of himself. He's like, you liked dark me better than me, me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Like, that's got to be very strange to be like, I can't live up to myself who is an evil version of me and also like you know he talks about being pieces because like he's it would be a strange revelation to find out like you were split in half basically so you're like i'm kind of like a half of someone i used to be who i don't even know (laughs) like yeah, yeah, they just they just needed to integrate this into the things that are happening. Oh, yeah. Just like, maybe Harry is acting kind of weird, and it's because he's just like, he's lost trying to figure out who he is at the moment, you know, but he's got to, like, focus on something at the moment. Like, I can't be focusing on the fact that I don't know if I am who I am. Let's just try and get this stuff done or something, you know, so it's like, it doesn't feel like we need a clunky line of dialogue. Here, we're going to talk about this. Now let's get back to the plot. Everything is separate. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. But even though while he's dealing with this, him and Macy are still doing proactive things, which is kind of... They are. You know, I feel like everyone but Mel was doing something proactive. Mm -hmm. (laughs) At least Maggie was, she was doing a plot related thing. Uh, Yeah. But yeah, that was a difference from usual because often it is just them. Mm -hmm. So um, they take the essence out of the ring and it shows uh, an old timey vision of when it was uh, being stolen and this uh this witch is cursing uh Jordan's ancestor uh Mortimer Muffins is what I'm gonna call him. <laughs> when this vision first popped up, I thought they were like in gangster suits. It made me laugh. Like they were actually like an old uh, Yo, you got this uh <laughs> yeah. this ring. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> Damn you, Mortimer Muffins! <laughs> Wouldn't know anything about this Mordor. <laughs> 
I'm just saying, the, uh, the ring could fall into, uh, the wrong hands in, uh, Mount S Sauron's Mountain or whatever. <laughs> I know Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, maybe I take this ring to Saruman, who knows? Maybe that worm tongue's all right, huh? <laughs> maybe, maybe it ends up in a pawn shop. Who knows? <laughs> maybe that uh, that Smeagol might have a better offer. <laughs> Mortimer Muffins. <laughs> you see, my wife, she has been most vocal on the subject of the pretzel monies. Where's the money? When are you going to get the money? Why aren't you getting the money now? This is the Witchfinder General. And he was cursed by a witch after stealing her ring and killing her or whatever he did. And uh, so everyone in his bloodline has died uh, at 25, just before their 26th birthday. And, uh, you know, Jordan is uh, 25 currently. So uh, toxic Who clocks knew? are ticking. <laughs> toxic Jordaninity. <laughs> Tox, like uh, America's Next Top Model. Tank Ugh. Top Socks. <laughs> Buy some tox. <laughs> Jordan in reality is actors older than that, is he? <laughs> I don't know how old he is. I don't think it says on his page how oh, old he okay. is. But he looks older than that. Yeah. But they made some reference to it, too, that he said that he seemed older, which seemed like they were referencing that the actor's older. Right, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Um, but you I, knew, I, like, I, when they looked up how old he is, like, how old is he? 25. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. It would have been funnier if it's like, he's 27, so I guess it's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Phelan, do you think there is a single person on God's green earth who is concerned that Jordan will die? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to speak for you, Phelan. I'm, I'm just so scared for Jordan right now. <laughs> Anyone in the comments, are you one of these people? Are you someone that's concerned about this character? You're going to get someone now. Like, whether they're whether trolling they're... or not, someone's going to say. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Submit your essay. <laughs> Why I think Jordan is a character worth living or dying. <laughs> Jordan, an essay. <laughs> Now, and what what is the um the SNL sketch when he does the like um daily affirmations or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> but it's about Jordan. <laughs> Sometimes I think Jordan is a character worth living. Yeah. <laughs> and then I chop up his body and put it in the basement. <laughs> Overall, he, he was a big mistake. <laughs> honk honk, I'm a clown. <laughs> anyway, uh who cares? Cut to Switzerland. Because, <laughs> by the way, that's where uh, Maggie and Abigail went to Switzerland. So they are getting a little more worldly. Um, you know, we, well, we went to Scotland yeah. last time. We're now we're going to Switzerland. Pretend Scotland and pretend Switzerland. <laughs> that's true. Um, I, yeah, I, I wish they found, again, more interesting ways to go international. But at least I get budget concerns why you couldn't do that much yeah parker's like i'm in switzerland so i'm neutral get it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god is that why they did that no <laughs> fuck i think that is though probably <laughs> oh fuck off <laughs> okay so abigail and, and maggie are outside the demon mansion and uh and then Maggie's like, how are we going to get inside? And then Abigail's just like, buzzes them in. Hey, we're going to see the, the demon overlord. I'm here with Maggie Vera. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what they do. So all these demons come. They put these depowering cuffs on them, drag them inside. <laughs> and there's a Parker Guitar, star of the hour, <laughs> on his Instagram. So he's like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Just going to take a selfie before I answer the door here. <laughs> It's hard being the demon overlord. <laughs> Hashtag responsibilities. Hashtag Switzerland. Hashtag neutral. <laughs> Hashtag Swiss. <laughs> Swiss, Swiss, baby! <laughs> um, he immediately tries to choke out Abigail. <laughs> and he's like, you tried to kill me and you smashed my guitar. Like, Not cool. Well, well, well. <laughs> Abigail and my ex-girlfriend. 
You said that I couldn't play guitar. Well, look at me now. <laughs> no, just, I, I had this before you guys came in. It's in it. <laughs> you put this out of tune, didn't you, Abigail? <laughs> You've always been trying to sabotage me. Drink this truth serum. Did you sabotage my guitar? <laughs> <laughs> I walk a lonely road. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie's all pissed at Abigail. She immediately turns on her. Is like, what? What the hell? You tried to kill my boyfriend? <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good time to bring up that Sarah Jeffrey and Nick Hargrove, who plays Parker, are dating in real life. <laughs> So this seems like it's going to be a fucking mess real soon. <laughs> this might be why this took a turn away from the boxer boy plot for Maggie. I don't know. I don't know if she has enough influence. It's not like know. she's a producer on the show. No, like, but it could have been Alyssa like Milano. a request and they did it. Maybe. <laughs> it's possible. I do I do feel like this is going to get messy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But who knows? But, maybe maybe oh they're well. really happy together. Maybe it's, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, and like <laughs> I, I don't care what. However, it happened. We got back to silly Parker, so that works. Honestly, <laughs> thank you, Sarah Jeffrey and Nick Hargrove, for dating. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my God, this reminds me. Someone sent me. I th- I think it was uh I think it was Vinny on uh, on Twitter. Uh, sent me a picture um from I think it was Instagram actually. <laughs> it was uh it was from Nick Hargrove's Instagram, and he um ran into the guy who played his brother Hunter uh, at Superfoods, and it was like <laughs> it was like brothers unite at Superfoods <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> it's like this is the, this is the best thing I've ever. <laughs> I imagine that's what she saw on Parker's Instagram. She's like, "What the hell? I'm just still alive." <laughs> I'm gonna write a strongly worded comment. <laughs> Relax, Max. He said he's cool now. <laughs> uh, okay, I immediately believe you. He's chilling. <laughs> he's doing his. Chill- <laughs> he's. Ch- he's ch- <laughs> Here's my other brother, Chills. (laughs) I know you think I can't be the demon overlord, but it's pretty creepy regardless. (laughs) Um, Okay, so they find a truth serum on them. (laughs) And Parker orders to lock them up. But Maggie's like, you at least owe me a minute. (laughs) And he's like, yeah, fair enough. All right, everyone get out. (laughs) He's like, I was just pretending to be a dick. I actually still like you. Yeah, yeah. he's all like tough guy, like, Ugh, and then, oh my god, I thought that you were dead. Yeah. <laughs> I missed you so much. I was just trying to be cool for the demons. I hope you understand. Hashtag sad. <laughs> I wrote a song for you. Oh, Maggie, I can't believe you died in that fire. <laughs> I had to become the demon overlord because I was so sad. Anyway, <laughs> quick update for Instagram. <laughs> Charmed one still alive. My bad. United. <laughs> Reunited and it feels so bad. <laughs> Um, so he hugs her, and this is enough for Maggie to buy everything and tell her whole story to him. Mm. She's like, oh yeah, our deaths were faked, and all this has been going on, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He could be- he's the demon overlord, you don't know! Yeah. Though Why'd you tell him everything? She stops at telling him out. where they live. He's like, where are you guys at now? She's like, I probably shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Their house, Stupid. that's the most important secret, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to be the only one they're really concerned with keeping. <laughs> Parker says that he was found by Godric, who was uh one of the heads of the demon families. I think he's been here before. They introduced him at the demon club, mm-hmm. but um could not uh could not be bothered to remember him until this point. I still wasn't sure. I was like, is this Godric? Is the I, he's a character now, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. He didn't leave much of an impact on the club episode. And- I mean, yeah. he did something in this episode, so I'll probably remember him now. <laughs> he's a he's a demon lackey who will be killed before the season's over. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, uh, he's a he's just a toady. 
Um, but he brought um, he brought Parker in, and he's like, "You can bring the demons together, <laughs> because Parker wants to stop the war yeah. and bring peace. Like, Let's peace give with peace the demons. a chance, Mags. <laughs> what do you think? Demons and peace." This whole plot is ludicrous. It's ludicrous to be like, I'm going to bring the demons together for peace. Mm -hmm. It just sounds ludicrous. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> so Maggie asks about the dryads. She's like, well, the what what about the dryads being dead? And yeah, you killed them. And, and he's like, oh, is that what Abigail told you? That's not Abigail what happened. Abigail's bogus, Mags. You know that. <sighs> She's a dumb sister I never mentioned before. I should have told you, <laughs> but she sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my stupid sister. Everyone in this family sucks balls. Yeah. This this is a stupid demon family. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> His mom was all right, I guess, and then she got killed and they forgot about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what she looked like by now. <laughs> she had brown hair, I think. <laughs> One of Macy's many bosses. <laughs> yes, the, the revolving door of bosses. So uh, Parker is like, I'm going to prove to you, I'm going to prove to you that I'm telling the truth. I'm going to take this truth serum and I'm going to tell you that I didn't do it. And Maggie's like, no, truth is earned and not forced. So don't do it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll prove it to you with a song. No, please, that's okay. No, please take the truth serum. I'll do that, please. <laughs> She drinks as many skinny margs as she can. And she's like, I can't get drunk. Damn these skinny margs. <laughs> uh, they're virgin skinny margs. Yeah. <laughs> really doing nothing. <laughs> so she's like, why don't you help me figure out who killed the dryads? So uh, cut to the demon prison where Abigail's being held. And Godric makes fun of Abigail for being a terrible overlord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some demon overlord you turned out to be. <laughs> Was I really that bad? Or is Parker bad at it? And he's like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, why would he even team up with her? She was captured immediately. Why are you putting your eggs in that basket? Yeah, I know. Like, you've done nothing to prove that you should be the leader. Like, you got ousted, and then she... she got ousted because she was too busy having threesomes. Yeah, like, that was her answer. She wasn't <laughs> trying to do anything, apparently. Well, I guess she was in some way, but... she d Yeah, she did try to kill Parker. <laughs> yeah, and she... What? How hard is it to kill Parker? Yeah. <laughs> All she's got to do is lace his demon insulin and then on her. <laughs> Just put an explosive in his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason for the explosives in my guitar. <laughs> um, so she's like, she's going to sell Parker out again. And she's like, he's he, he's really goo goo for Maggie. So He's Coco you, for Coco Puss. He's Coco for Coco Puff. So all you gotta do is expose this weakness. So he goes to Parker and Maggie with a bunch of demons and hoods, including Abigail, and he's like, we're gonna torture them, and then we're gonna find out who killed the dryads. This is how we things work with the demons. Maggie's and, uh, like, Parker. Alright. Torture's off, guys. Or Torture's off it? the menu, boys. <laughs> he's like, the real torture begins. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, I killed the dryads. No me, no me, I killed the dryads. Please kill me now. Did it again. <laughs> Bake them away, toys. <laughs> eh, what? <laughs> Do the kids. <laughs> hey, I'm the chief here. Bake them away, toys. So Maggie isn't cool with this. She convinces Parker to stop doing this. And then the demons are very confused. It's like, well, why would you stop torturing them if you want peace? <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow, like, Abigail knew that this is what she would do. Mm -hmm. It's like, she, you don't have any reason to believe that she wouldn't let your ass get tortured and killed. <laughs> yeah, her bigger leap of faith is what comes after this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they, they cut back to the prison, and Abigail's there eating some food. And uh, it turns out that they uh, laced her food with true serum. And she admits that she killed the dryads and stole the sacred fruit uh, and tried to kill Parker and reclaim the throne. Uh, but, um, well, when she was trying to steal the fruit, yeah. she said that it turned to dust when the tree was yeah. uh, destroyed or when the dryads were destroyed. But that turns out not to be true later. So, again, like this, this stupid guy teaming up with Abigail, it's like, OK, her move since she got ousted as the demon overlord was trying to kill Parker, which she failed at. Then she tried to get some fruit and failed at that. And then she just went and had some threesomes. 
Well, she uh, she didn't fail getting the fruit, didn't? Well, she did she because or Godric, it turned to dust. One of them. No, 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 she lied. To, she said that it, oh, happened, that it turned to dust, but it didn't. Right, it, okay. it was either her or a Godric. One of them actually took the fruit, okay. but she just because she wasn't really telling oh, the yeah, truth. It turns yeah, out he put something in the food that like negated the truth serum. Yeah, so, so she didn't actually even do the the fruit thing. It was Godric. So all she did was fail to kill Parker and then had a threesome. <laughs> well, did, I don't remember. Did Godric do it or he was covering for her and she did it? No, it was him because that was the twist. Okay. All right. Well, that's what happened. Um, but when they think that Abigail is the one who did it, when they're fooled, she's like, well, I'll never stop trying to kill you. Uh, and so she's going to be executed. Um, and Maggie is also not cool with this. And this is what, you know, Abigail thought uh, Maggie would do. Yeah. But that's a huge leap of faith to think that she's going to spare your life. <laughs> yeah. Like her plan was to hope that Maggie would tell Parker, don't kill her. This is stupid. She's like, yeah, she tried to kill you, but she's your blood. It's like, yeah, so did Hunter, and they killed him, no problem. And her, yeah, and her, and his Macy dad, no killed, problem. Yeah, Alistair. Yeah, she goes, like, if you who gives kill, a fuck about his family? <laughs> she goes, if you kill your sister, there's no coming back from that. It's like, is there no coming back for Macy? Is there no coming back for any of you guys? Well, it wasn't ki- their, their dad or brother. So so you have fine. to be related. related. If you're related, then yeah. there's no coming yeah. back. I you see. can't kill your but siblings you can... no matter how evil or irredeemable they <laughs> if are. If they're not related to you, you can kill whoever. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I mean, you, you could have. They could have used this as a parallel to Macy to be like, I know this sounds really dumb, but like Macy was saved and she's part human too. So if she could be saved, Abigail can be saved. Please give her a chance or something like that to be like, why does she think this is any different? Mm-hmm. It, something like that. But she doesn't. She just goes like, it's it's your blood. You can't do it. Yeah, that's not a reason. It's like she's already. They now think she's killed Dryads, and they know she's killed these witches before. Like, she's just a a constant murderer, so it's like... (laughs) I feel like like in order to become the the demon overlord, Parker, like, has to have done some eviler shit than this. But, like, it seems like this whole episode, he's just, like, a complete pushover the entire time. Yeah. He's like, "Mm, I never thought of it that way, Maggie, okay. They just made him their boy king and he did nothing? Is that what... He's just like a king in title only? Or yeah. <laughs> He sang them some songs. Kumbaya, I'm a demon. Kumbaya, <laughs> let's give peace a chance. Kumbaya. Ah, this demon overlord is the biggest <laughs> wiener overlord we've had yet. <laughs> so he doesn't want to look weak, but he realizes he can't kill her. So, uh... When they go to execute her, uh, the demons are like, Such treachery can only be met with death! And Parker says, I disagree! And then, <laughs> He's like, This was the lamest, like, Oh, oh shit, he said, I disagree! <laughs> Whoa! This reminds me of, like, um, there was a gag on Family Guy, and I, I, I hate that I'm referencing Family Guy, oh, no. but I, I do remember this being very funny. <laughs> And they did a cutaway to like drive by dis- like drive by arguments. Oh yeah, in England or something. <laughs> yeah, and they, he goes by like, "Oh Reginald, I disagree," yeah. and then drives away. That's early this is what this family reminded guy because I remember that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like that. I disagree. <laughs> oh Reginald. I disagree! He orders that her powers are stripped and she be in prison forever. This would be worse than death. It's like, um, almost heroes, you know, like, we could go kill that bear, but the ravages of old age (laughs) will do far worse to it than we could. (laughs) Revenge is sweet. (laughs) Then he, like, Shang Tsung's her. He, like, cuts his hand with the blade they're gonna stab her, and then just, like, your sword is mine! (laughs) (laughs) Like, My, uh, green energy shoots from his hand and, like, absorbs into hers. <laughs> so he can just do that as the demon over? That's just something a demon can do? Like, I don't know, I don't know how that one worked. Out? I don't know. Everyone, Seems I love, though, he gets, like, a standing ovation from the crowd for doing this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they yeah. immediately start cheering and chanting his name. Yeah, Kane, 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 like, oh, Kane. Tell me someone videoed that. It's gonna go on my Insta. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like he just won the championship belt. Kane, Kane, yeah. Kane, Kane. <laughs> And Maggie's there, like, gives him, like, a smile nod. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, she's like, hey, thanks for saving her. And Park's like, Parker's like, Parks, old Parks. Old Parks. Parks is like, no, thanks for saving me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they have a make out and a sex. Yeah. Where's her vagina light? They seem to have forgotten that plot development. Yeah, I was totally <laughs> waiting for him to get vagina lit again. <laughs> <laughs> they had no reason to believe the vagina wouldn't blast him out again. Yeah, I'm about to get vagina lit up. <laughs> you can't, you can't go back from the vagina light. Sorry, guys, you can't. There's no, you reach the point in a return when you have her vag blast him across the room. Four twenty vagina light. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know. Peter is listening to this as he's editing. He has no context for this. He's never watched Charmed. Vagina light? Yeah, yeah that's right, Peter. It happened. Yeah. Her vag blasted him across the room. This was a plot point. Her vag was protecting her from Parker, and it blasted yeah. him with a light across the room. Oh, my vagy, <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Charmed. <laughs> <laughs> after sex they're both sleeping and like maggie wakes up and she looks over at him like i've made a huge mistake yeah. <laughs> at least i won't remember it and then she roofies herself and goes into a cycle <laughs> and soon job found himself experiencing what on the street is referred to as a roofie circle um she's gonna leave and parker's like I don't know. I thought maybe we could de- rule the demon underworld together. I thought maybe we'd stick around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> if if you stay, we could bring peace to the de- to the demon and witch world. Like we could buy the world a coke. What do you think? <laughs> Be like doing the Phoebe and Cole plot, but you know, less Fuck. evil. <laughs> the world's like the worst plot that they did in original Charmed was was Phoebe Queen of the Underworld. Please don't do this with Maggie, please. <laughs> Well, We're only in season two. We can't do this. As long as they don't go the same place, because it wasn't dumb until she acted like, and the show acted like she was a little miss innocent of everything, despite her making that choice. I don't. I don't want any plot that even reminds me of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want. I don't want to see Maggie but Queen this, as the Demon Underworld. If that's not where this goes, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, they might do something different. I don't know. Well, it seems like they're already... I'm very frightened. They're in a different spot with it already, since he's trying to bring peace <laughs> to them or whatever. I'm I'm very scared where this is going to go, because at the end of the scene, he proposes to her! <laughs> oh my god! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't be Will mad. you do me the honor of becoming Mrs. Guitar? <laughs> <laughs> of becoming Mrs. Neutral? <laughs> so cut to Abigail and Godric. We don't know the answer yet. We're left with a cliffhanger. Will she Will she accept his proposal? Uh, um, and then it's like, oh, we swerved them, right? Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Abigail and Godric tricked them. He was the one who killed the dryads and stole the fruit. She still has her powers, and she's going to take her throne back. But if he's got the the fruit and he did all of it, why does he need her? Why doesn't he just become the, I don't know. the demon so, overlord? Like, the, the magic fruit was what prevented her from losing her powers and stuff, too? She did say thanks for the snack. Maybe that's what it was. It neutralized the truth serum. He gave her something. That's what I thought. It neutralized the truth serum, but I just didn't understand how her powers weren't gone. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe he can't fucking do that, and it was just all for show. And it's like, yeah, why did Parker think he could just suck her powers out? <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just, I suck. <laughs> yeah, so that's the end uh, of the episode. You know what? There's no good choice for Overlord. We're screwed. <laughs> So that's the end of the episode. Phelan, what did you think of it? (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) Parker Overlord. Oh my god. (laughs) I can't be mad at this one, I guess. This has been the best Maggie plot of season two by far. (laughs) Maybe of the whole series for her. (laughs) 
I mean, Vagina Light was the highlight for her in season one, but just pointing out Parker Demon Overlord was a thing. <laughs> I mean, Maggie was proactive in this episode trying to do something. I still question her going, you can't kill the evil woman who keeps killing everyone and keeps killing innocent people. But... This was, I mean, you can't bring Parker back and reveal he's the overlord, and have him propose all in one episode. You, well, you give yeah. us some time here. I don't know, they gave us too much time in the other episodes, so I don't know, I guess I'd <laughs> they rather... They need to find a balance. Th they should find a balance, but I'd rather this than just dragging their feet on boring things. That's very true. I enjoyed the developments of this episode in some parts. Uh, the Return of Parker, it gets a big thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm. Uh... Truly the, the highlight of the episode. Uh, I'm glad that he's back. Um, I can't say I'll miss Kat because they didn't do anything with her. Uh, R.I.P. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's um, not gone yet. I'll, I'll give them credit for this episode. I, w I won't say it's good. I'll say it's the best of this season. Um, I'll say the cancellation demon takes one step back. <laughs> Two steps forward, one step back. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's like I was fine with yeah, the cat thing kind of being wrapped up, possibly for good. We didn't need two meet-cute plots. Nah. We didn't need one meet-cute plot, but they weren't doing anything with either of them, and it was just repetitious. No, and maybe giving Mel that store might be interesting, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a bummer they set her up as a medium and then don't do anything with it, but maybe they will do something with her later. Maybe, maybe she'll come back. Yeah. Maybe uh, they expect the fans to write in letters. Do you want to see more, Cat? <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Do you want to see more Marisol? No. No, that's fine. <laughs> they didn't want to because they didn't care. <laughs> oh, you talked to our dead mom? Cool, anyway. <laughs> yeah, she was a monster who was in league with these horrible elders. <laughs> if we don't acknowledge that... We... <laughs> <laughs> that means her ghost is hanging around safe space, though, huh? Hmm. She's going to be turning pages of the book and turn into Grandma Ghost sooner or later. Ugh. Mm. Can we not? <laughs> well, that's all I want to say about the episode. Uh, done. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys uh, liked this uh, podcast, then I'd appreciate it if uh, you would uh, like, subscribe, or leave a review on whatever platform you're watching or listening to this on. Uh, you can find us in audio form at anchor.fm under Charmed Hard with a Vengeance or Charmed Rewind. Or you can find us on YouTube under Movie Nights the Series. Uh, you can find Phelan's stuff under uh, youtube.com slash Phelus. Or if you would like to support us on Patreon, um, get early access to videos or other perks, uh, you can uh, support my stuff on patreon.com slash Movie Nights or Phelan's at patreon.com slash Phelus. Thanks to Peter Hunter for editing the uh, the audio for us. You can find him on Twitter at Pretor Hunter. Phelan, what hashtags that haven't been used by Parker can we use this week? <laughs> Hashtag catastrophe. <laughs> Hashtag inter Instagram superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag RIP Jordan. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag see a Charmanders. <laughs> <laughs>